If you're the type of person who really enjoys text parser adventure games but are looking for one that does something a little bit different from the crowd, then I've got good news for you because this is the demo for Signal and Echo Iris is Missing by Keeney Games. Now, uh, I actually spoke to Will from Keeney Games at Adventure X and I've been dying to play this ever since because it sounds really good. It was actually on my list before uh, but after speaking to him it actually had to go to the top of the list of new games to feature on the channel. So here we go, I believe there's a lot of detective stuff involved in this, you need to write things down. Day one, first day of work experience at the Signal and Echo newspaper in Runeton, England. I believe that's how you say that, I am from England so I should know, unless it's a fictional place in which case all bets are off. 11.30 a.m. Here we go. Love the art style. Hi, Katie. Click your mouse or press any key to progress dialogue and these messages. Oh, morning, Ollie. Good to have you with us. I really like the music as well so far. We're just on a deadline at the minute, so things are a bit manic. Get yourself settled at the desk next to mine. I'll be with you in just a moment. No problem. Welcome to the Signal and Echo, Runeton's oldest and best newspaper. Grab yourself a pen of paper if you haven't already. Yes, really. You're on re <laughs> I really screwed up. You're a reporter now, after all. Done that? Good. Then let's get started. You're going to have to get to grips with things pretty quickly if you want to impress your new colleagues. For now though, you only need to know two things. Thing one, right click your mouse to scroll through the various cursor options. Left click on a hotspot to perform your chosen action. The available actions are walk to, look at, pick up, use and talk to. Uh, so yeah, okay, I've got that. Thing two, move your cursor to the top of the screen to access your inventory and the options menu. Take some time to familiarise yourself with these controls as well as the office. After all, if this work experience kid goes well, you might end up getting a job here and then you'll barely leave. <laughs> I like that. When you're ready to start work, talk to Katie. Okay, so here we go. Ooh, newspaper, a map and a mobile phone. My mobile phone, it's got a VGA camera with flash, a 128 by 160 pixel display and currently zero credits. Map. Oh, wow. This is your map. You can use it to find lo new locations and get around town. Here's how it works. You can search for any proper noun found in game that is also the name of a location. Proper nouns are those written with capital letters, e.g. John Smith London, The Beatles. Don't worry about capitalization or misplaced apostrophes, but do try to stick to the exact location name you found in game. You should probably start by marking the signal and echo. The word and is fine too, go ahead. Okay, so, uh, signal and echo. Nice, that's cool. I like that the text parser isn't just to like look at things. It's like a combination between point and click and text parser, it's pretty good. Uh, right, let's uh, also look at this newspaper. Today's paper, I thought I'd better read a copy before coming in this morning. Yeah, it's good to be prepared for interviews. Uh, Thursday, December the 30th, 2001. Children in care crisis, numbers reach peak level. Also inside, rain chaos, new homes. Cool. Very good world building so far, I must say. I'm, I'm like properly immersed in this. Okay, uh, so Katie's here, the chief reporter. She seems nice, which is lucky, as she's essentially who I'm going to be answering to day to day. Okay. Uh, who else have we got here? Nathaniel. It's Nathaniel, one of the reporters. He looks pretty involved in his work. Okay, good. That's our computer, right? My email account hasn't been set up yet, but I can access the paper's archive. So can we... Right, we can't type yet, it looks like. Sports desk. I think those are the sports editors. Uh, we've got the news desk here. That's the news desk where the news editors sit. It's a bin. Full of paper coffee cups. We've got a photocopier over here. Looks complicated. Uh, we've got a TV up here, which is playing rolling news. And a door, which I'm pretty sure that's the editor's office. I'm not going in there unless I have to. Uh, okay, so can we... Oh, we've got a phone here as well. If I want to call anyone, I'll have to use this phone until I can get some more credit for my mobile. Okay. Can we use the computer? Say hello to your trusty computer. It may not be the latest model, but it's good for searching the newspaper's archives. Here's how it works. You can search for anything you like so long as it's a proper noun found in game. 
Have a go now, try searching for any, for something, anything. If you haven't noted any proper nouns yet, try signal and echo or runeton. Yeah, let's do runeton because I want to know a bit more about that. Wow. The archive system leaves a lot to be desired. It only displays up to three results for any given search. These are the most recent stories containing your search term. Each label contains an identifying word and the publication date. Click the label to read the story. From there, use the arrows on the right to scroll and use the X button to return here. Okay. Wow. Oh, here's the... So here is the... Um... The, the thing that was in the newspaper, I think. The number of children in care in Runeton has reached an all-time high. New figures show uh, a total of 221 young people in the town are living in foster care or are otherwise classified as looked after according to a government report out today. The figure is up 17% from the previous record from 1998 when the total was 189. Nationally, experts warn that up to half of all looked after children may suffer with emotional or behavioural problems while around a third struggle with drugs or alcohol. Full story on page 10. Okay. Rain. Torrential rain battered Runeton yesterday, flooding homes and causing travel chaos. Full, stage, full um, story on page 6. Homes. Plans to build more than 1,000 new homes in Runeton have been given the green light by council officials. Full story on page 5. Uh, so I'm just going to make a note of uh, Runeton. I'm doing this on a piece of paper, by the way. Old fashioned way. Which is actually a really nice little touch about this game that I quite like. It's, it's familiar of like the old days of, uh, of playing video games where you'd actually have to write things down. Uh, we've got the phone. Can we use the phone? I'm guessing it... I shouldn't be wasting the emergency services time. <laughs> okay, just wanted to see what would happen. It's cool that's like, that that's been programmed in though. Uh, so we've got Nathaniel here. Uh, can we search for Nathaniel on the database maybe? Or even Katie? Let's write down some names. Oh, Katie with an IE. Okay, well that's me putting it down as a Y. Right, let's uh, let's see. No results. Okay. Katie. No results. Fine. Okay. Can we speak to her? Um, Katie. Just a sec. And done. Right. Sorry about that. No problem. Are you feeling settled? I think oh, good stuff. We'll get you properly set up later. For now, I've actually got something for you to look into if you don't mind. Of course, that's what I'm here for. Great. So we recently ran a story about a girl called Iris Wood going missing. Okay, Iris Wood. Let's write that down. My list is growing already. One, two, three, four, five things on it. I like that you click to progress the, uh, the dialogue as well. So if you get something like this, Iris Wood, it's not a case of quickly write it down before it disappears from the screen. It's there until you click. So I feel like clicking strategically is going to be a part of this. Oh yeah, I remember reading that. I've been speaking with her mother this morning. She says Iris still hasn't been found. As she sees it, the police aren't taking the situation seriously. They're just waiting around for someone to come forward with information. Maybe they think it, she's just run off with a boyfriend or something. I don't know. Whatever they believe, Iris's mum is panicking. Jeez. I'd like you to do a bit of sleuthing around town, see what you can find out. Sound okay? Sounds great. I thought I'd be chained to my desk all day. <laughs> no, don't worry about that. We'll have you out and about plenty. Before you leave though, have a read of the story we've already published. You should be able to find it on the system. Make a note of anything important. Then speak to Nathaniel over there. He's the one who wrote it. He may have some extra information that didn't make the paper for whatever reason. No problem. If you have any questions, don't be shy. Thanks, I won't. Okay, so, computer first, and then we'll speak to Nathaniel. So, Iris Wood, we're looking up here. Missing, 7th of December, 2001. Police are, sorry, <coughs> need to cough. Police are appealing for information regarding the whereabouts of a missing 16-year-old from Runeton. Iris Wood was last seen leaving Hayfield Academy. 
Okay, let's write that down. I feel like a journalist. This is really cool. Uh, if there are any journalists watching this and they want to leave me a, a comment and be like, that's not what it's really like to be a journalist, um, then feel free. Um, but I'm enjoying myself. It's very different to my day job. So, Rascals Lane with a friend at around 5 p.m. yesterday. However, please say the pair parted ways almost immediately to go to their separate homes. Officers have released a photograph of the missing teenager and are urging anyone who has seen her to come forward. Iris is described as white, around five foot tall and of slim build with long red hair. Uh, I might make a note of that actually, even though it won't be in the system. So, white, five feet, uh, slim, red hair. Could be important clues, right? Uh, she's believed to have been carrying a green rucksack. Green rucksack. And wearing a blue school jumper. Okay, uh, blue school jumper. Feel free to make notes yourselves, guys. Um, <laughs> on the day she disappeared. Anyone with information should call the missing persons hotline on... Okay, 01632... 960456. I wonder if that's a real phone number. Not necessarily for that, but um, in real life, because I think 01632 is an area code in England on the phone. I don't, I don't know. I think it is. Missing persons. Okay. Cool. Well, got some information already, haven't we? Um, what we could do while we're here is look up Hayfield Academy. We. I don't know if it matters if you have more than one capital in there. Hayfield uh, Academy helps if I spell it right. Okay, so that's the one we saw, wasn't it? Library. A secondary school in Runeton is appealing for donations to help pay for a complete refurbishment of its library. Hayfield Academy in Rascals Lane is hoping to raise 2700 for the project, which involves re-carpeting, installing bookshelves, uh, creating a new study area and painting and decorating. The school is hoping to carry out the work during the summer holidays in order to avoid disrupting students, provided it can secure the funds in time. Principal Jane Horter. Okay, another, another name for the list. Principal Jane. Perhaps we could look up her as well, see if there's any anything weird. Uh, the new library will be a wonderful resource for our students to enjoy, allowing them to read and study in a calm and welcoming environment. We've allocated half the money required from our annual budget, but unfortunately we do not have enough to fund the whole project, so we're appealing to the public for help. Okay. Inspection. Uh, Arunton Secondary School has made significant improvements since being placed into special measures last year, according to a report published today. Inspectors have updated their assessment of Hayfield Academy in Rascals Lane from inadequate to the low, uh, sorry, inadequate, the lowest possible rating to good, the second highest following a visit in May. In today's report, they attribute the turnaround to large part to the school's new principal, Jane Water, who took over the position in September last year. The report said teachers were unanimous in their praise for Mrs. Horter, who has already implemented several successful initiatives in her short time as principal. Together, these have resulted in significant improvements from which students are clearly benefiting. Mrs. Horter said, We are delighted with our new good rating, which is the result of a team effort involving uh, everyone at the school, including students. However, we will not rest on our laurels. We remain committed to constant improvement, and we hope to achieve an outstanding rating in our next report. Okay. Right, let's have a look at Rascals Lane. Rascals Lane. Okay, so these are the same things. Jane Horter. Clubs. An academy in Runeton has launched a raft of after-school clubs as part of its efforts to expand student horizons. Principal Jane Horto took over at Hayfield Academy in Rascals Lane in September and announced the new programme of activities at a parents' evening on Monday. <clears throat> she said staff had consulted with students to determine what most interested them. The resulting list includes everything from netball and rugby to science and coding. Mrs Horto said, We're thrilled to be announcing our new programme of after-school clubs, which will provide a fun and exciting way to expand our students' horizons. <clears throat> the students provided excellent suggestions, and we believe our timetable includes something for everyone. So, whether you're an aspiring computer game designer or the next sports star, we encourage you to try something new. 
Okay, so not a lot else in there. What I do want to do is just see if it makes a difference if we put Principal Jane Horter. Oh, we can't. Okay, fine. Too many characters. Uh, so, I think that's everything on our list to look up immediately. We could maybe look up missing persons. Okay, fine. It's not in the game. Fine. I just wanted to see if there was maybe a case of more missing persons. So, next up, Nathaniel. Hey, it's Nathaniel, right? That's me, and you must be the work experience kid. <coughs> yeah, my name's Ollie. Alright, Ollie. I see Katie's already got you started on something. Yeah, she said you might be able to help. Okay, then what do you want to know? Uh, ooh, it's time for your first proper conversation. Here's how it works. You can ask about anything you like, so long as it's either a proper noun found in game or a hotspot name. A hotspot is anything that shows its name when you hover your cursor over it. That includes inventory items. Why not have a go now? Try asking about something. Anything. Each topic can yield up to two responses. Uh, okay, let's ask about Iris Wood then. Katie says you wrote the story about Iris Wood, the girl who went who went missing recently. Oh yeah, that's right. Has there been an update? Not really, she's still missing apparently. I was wondering if you had any details that didn't make it into your story. There might have been some. Let me find my notes. Thanks. Hmm, I think there's only one thing that got cut, probably for space. Oh yeah, what was that? Well, the story said she was last seen leaving school. That's true, but more specifically, she was leaving an after-school club. That's why it was so late. 5pm, wasn't it? Yeah, that makes sense. Thanks. Uh-huh. Anything else? Uh, Not right now. Aha. Uh -huh. Right, so. Missing after-school club. So that changes things slightly, and we met, we saw about the after-school club on those notes, didn't we? So could that be involved in some way? Maybe. Uh, let's get the map out. Uh, let's look at the map. I want to add uh, Rascal's Lane in. Ha! There we go. So we've got a site now, Hay Hayfield Academy, which we can go to. Cool. <clears throat> but I tell you what, guys. I'm going to leave this one there. I want you to go and play this for yourself. You can find it on Steam. It's completely free to play the demo. I believe from speaking to Will that the demo is about an hour long. So it's quite a bit more than what I've done here. Uh, but I'm really enjoying the whole really having to investigate um, the dialogue options. Write things down. Writing things down reminds me of my childhood playing video games. I absolutely love that that's a thing in this. And I like the way the text parser and the point and click interface works together i think it's really clever the story's great as well i'm like fully into helping find out more stuff about this missing girl and i love that we're a reporter and we get to use the computer and i guess the phone and speak to people and have specific conversations it's really well put together plus i love the art and the music as well so go and play this for yourself i'll leave a link down in the description below um so yeah as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons are Kaylee's Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, and Numinous for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.